guys, welcome back. So this video is going to be my favorites for the last month or so. I don't know when this is going to go up. I'm filming it when I'm 36, 37 weeks pregnant, but I'm hoarding videos <laughs> for after I have the baby. So if I sound out of breath or, you know, look chubby or something, probably because I'm super duper pregnant. So let me just go ahead and jump in. A lot of my videos lately have been super long, so this one I want to just be a little bit shorter. Product I've been loving, Norvina Palette by Anastasia Beverly Hills. I used it today. It's got a lot of like pretty purpley shades, pinky purples and um, some really pretty shimmers. So there's the, I use, let's start over here. I use Dreamer in my brow bone, or Dreamer in the inner corner, base in my brow bone. And then I use like Celestial on the top, mixed with Wild Child on the lid soul in the crease and then a little bit of uh passion yeah on the outer v and uh, i just think it's just pretty and i don't wear you know color that often now i work from home i don't really go out if i do go out it's to family stuff so i don't feel like i need glitter eyeshadow but something like this is like just enough color that it's fun and not like crazy you know what i mean and i like the packaging i like the color I like that it's smooth um I like the Modern Renaissance palette by Anastasia too, um, for different reasons. This one's more like of a matte and warm reddish kind of palette. So it really just depends on what kind of look I'm going for. But when I want like purples, I wear this one, more cool tone. Cause see like my shirt today has like blues and purples on it. So I just wanted to go cool tone. That was pretty fun to play with. Um, I guess I'll go with something else I have on. This is the YSL Volupte Sheer Candy um, in number eight. And it is like a really pretty lavender. Um, I'm gonna swipe it, swatch it for you on my hand. It's like an icy pinky lavender. I don't wear this on its own. Honestly, it's not enough pigment to really do anything. But if I pair it like on top of a purpley lipstick or a pink lipstick or a, any kind of lipstick on the center of the lip, it just looks so pretty. You see how pretty that is? Like it's just super duper it's just it's gorgeous and it smells like watermelon 34 35 dollars each lipstick those are for YSL kind of pricey but I've had mine for a long time and it just hasn't gone bad and it still tastes good and yeah a couple of mascaras I want to talk about my favorite mascara of all time is $4.99 at Ulta it's the Essence Lash Princess False Lash Effect I also like the purple one I can't remember what that one's called um, Essence Lash Princess Sculpted Volume Mascara. The green one I think is my favorite, but the purple one is pretty good. Um, but recently, I've gotten the blue one. This is a new formula. This one is called the Essence Lash Princess False Lash Effect Mascara Waterproof. So they're supposedly the same formula, just waterproof. I like it for some reasons and I don't for others. So the same price, same availability at Ulta, I like that it's waterproof. Um, it did well in the pool, and that was awesome. I was happy about that. But let me just say that I'm not a big fan of it being super hard to remove. I know, I know, it's waterproof. What do you want? But my normal makeup wipes, the simple um, brand cleansing cloths, remove the regular, but they will not remove the waterproof. And the fact that I have to get out a waterproof eye makeup remover and remove it like makes me not like it. But we've been going in the pool like every other day this summer and I guess I'm willing to do it. I just found that last time I didn't use a good remover and like for a day or two after I was still getting like fallout and like black under my eyes and I'm like, I didn't even wear makeup today. Why am I, why do I have such black under my eyes? And it was like the previous day's makeup still coming off. Like, I don't know how. Took a bath and more was off. So like, obviously I did not do a good job of removing it. So it looks good. It wears really well and it stands up well to water. However, it stands up really well to washing your face at night too. So just keep that in mind. If you also want a waterproof mascara, this one is good. Your lashes will look amazing. Um, I didn't use the waterproof today, but I used the regular one. Hopefully you guys can tell. Like, my lashes look pretty good. I think. I mean, whatever. But, yeah. Okay, another product I've been loving. This I've only used a couple times, but I wanted to mention it because it's currently on clearance. This is the Sephora, Sephora Collection brand, Gel um, Brow Builder. And this is waterproof. 
and I got the shade 05 Neutral Gray Brown. Now, I do not have gray hair. Well, I have a couple of gray hairs, okay? But um, it's just a cool tone. It almost reminds me of like a taupe. I'm gonna swipe it right here for you. It's kind of like a taupey, cool tone, ashy brown. It's right there. It's not super gray, like I can wear it. Maybe it looks gray on camera. Just telling you, I wore it in my brows the other day and it looked really good. Today I'm using the LA, um, LA Colors, LA Girl. LA Girl Warm Brown Pencil, and they look reddish brown. I don't really like reddish brown in my hair. I think I like the gray brown more. I don't know, it's just personal opinion, but this formula is really good. Waterproof, it did come off with a makeup wipe, in case you were wondering, but um, it has enough gel in it that it reminds me of like the Benefit Gimme Brow or the Essence, um, what's it called? The Essence one, Make Me Brow, something like that. Um, and it keeps your brows in place, doesn't let them shift around or anything. And it's just enough color. But yeah, the gray color, the natural gray brown or whatever, this shade for some reason, I think it's being discontinued, is like $4 on the Sephora website right now. Hopefully it still is when this video goes up. But the full size, like this is full size. The other colors in the line, all those shades are like double or triple the price. So if you can get away with wearing gray brown, if you have really cool tone or your hair is graying or you have gray hair, or maybe you're like a blonde, a dark blonde with like mousy, taupey kind of hair where you normally wear taupe eye products, brow products, this one is good. And I don't mind the gray. Like, I don't think it's too gray at all. So let me just, like it's got a little gray to it. But I don't think it's bad at all. I don't know. Now I gotta do the other one. Anyway, so that's been like my new brow thing is just wearing a little bit of gel. And I'm, I've been preferring a gel over a pencil. Um, now I'm like looking at my brows in my mirror. I think they look okay. Um, I've been wearing gel over pencil because it's a one step, one stop shop or one step. Um, and then last but not least, I want to talk about two primers. These are both pricey normally, but I have like 100 point perks. This is the Glam Glow Glow Starter Mega Illuminating Moisturizer in the shade Nude Glow. It is a nude, shimmery, a little bit shimmery um, primer slash moisturizer. I use it as a primer and moisturizer in one, and it works really well. It smells like Fruit Loops or like fruity kind of. So if you don't like sense, like a, if you have a strong sense of smell problem, like you don't like things that are really scented, you probably won't like that. But I like it. And then one that's more gentle is this one. This is the Hello Fab First Aid Beauty um, Coconut Skin Smoothie Primer. Coconut Skin Smoothie Priming Moisturizer, safe for sensitive skin. This is like not shimmery. This is not for, um, if you want to glow, you use the Glam Glow one. Obviously glow is in the name, but this one does say it is a moist priming moisturizer and it is hydrating. So it's hydrating, but it's not like gonna give you that all over glow. So it just depends on what look you're going for. This one is not as scented. It says coconut, but it's a little coconutty, but it's not like sunscreen or something like really strong. It's just a little coconut. So I really like this one from almost every single day. This is perfect because it's a priming moisturizer. I don't wanna do two steps, especially not with a newborn baby coming. Like I ain't got time for that. But if I wanna look extremely glowy, if I'm wearing a mattifying foundation, I really like the Glam Glow. This one's expensive though. I think this one might be like 60 bucks normally. I don't know, I might be making that up, but it's pricey. And this one is only like 30 something, I think for the full size. So I like them both, but for different reasons. That is it for products I've been loving. I hope you guys enjoyed watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.